and $7 at Munson Williams Proctor Auditorium in Utica. If you'd like more information on this event, visit our website, mohawkdailyliving.com. There is something here in the outskirts of Mohawk which probably all of our viewers have used at one time or another, or at least your mothers have used them. I can remember my mother using what these two things will become. Uh, primarily, I recall her, her uh, well, I don't give too much of it away. Uh, it had, had, had to do with peppers and walnuts. Can you guess what these eventually become? Stay tuned and find out. Let's dip on. Diorio's Frozen Dough Products presents East Utica Now and Then. The art of capturing a person in a portrait dates back to prehistoric times. But even after the invention of the camera, Italian families still valued the traditional portrait and the artist. You know, the dream of, uh, of every immigrant family is to have their uh, children uh, uh, go to college. And, but the dream of every Italian immigrant family is not only to have their children go to college, but to have at least one artist in the family. Uh, so there was, in the Gualillo family, there was Nicholas Gualillo, who was a, a, was a conductor of music and a violinist. And in our family, fortunately, we had Leon. And Leon uh, was a portrait artist. And uh, he, he uh, went uh, back to Italy when he was a teenager uh, to study in Rome, Italy. Uh, he came back and uh, then he went to New York City and he studied at a, ne a number of uh, schools in, Nor uh, in, Italy, in uh, New York City, uh, most notably the, uh, the National Academy of Design, uh, where he spent most of his time. He came back home in the 20s and he lived on Blaine Diner Street. Above our, our, th our house, we lived on the first floor, it was a three family house. Uh, he lived uh, in a room on the second floor where he also had a studio. Leon. Uh, uh, was never married. Uh, he never owned a TV set. He never even sat behind the wheel of an automobile, let alone drive an automobile. Never had a telephone. He spoke three languages, Italian, uh, English, and French, and he was self-taught. Taught. I never knew him to go to a public school. Outside of the schools in New York City and in Italy to learn art, he never went to a public school. Uh, he was very knowledgeable. He learned to play the violin on his own, never took a lesson. Uh, his life was completely devoted to art and to learning, and he did that very well, and the Cardarelli family is very honored to have him as our resident artist. You can read more about Leon Cardarelli in the book Utica Portrait Artist Leon Cardarelli, His Life and His Works, available at your local bookstores or online at booksbymalio.com. Your entertainment guide to the Mohawk Valley